This is SAT test 2, calculator question number 9. College Board gives us a word problem and asks us which of the following systems of equations, I'm sorry, systems of inequalities, represents this relationship. And they give us four systems of inequalities based on this word problem. In general, for this question, it's easiest to rule out answer choices that don't match the question rather than to write your own system of equations and look for an answer choice that's compatible with that. So let's take a look at what we have here. We're told a forklift can carry up to 45 boxes or a weight of 2,400 pounds, where x is the number of 40 pound boxes and y is the number of 65 pound boxes. So the total weight would be 40x plus 65y, and you want that to be up to 2,400 pounds. So that would be 40x plus 65y less or equal to 2,400 or 40x plus 65y less than equal to 2400. It's not 40x plus 65y less than equal to 45, and it's not this choice either, because neither of these, this one, the total weight they're saying has to be less than 45, which is not correct because you want the number of boxes less than 45, and this one that is not the total weight. So choices B and C are wrong. We don't even have to check the second, second equation for each. Next, we have a relationship that we can carry up to 45 boxes. The number of boxes is x, the number of 40 pound boxes, plus y, the number of 65 pound boxes. So the number of boxes x plus y can be up to 45. x plus y less than or equal to 45. Choice A works again. x plus y less than 2400. That is not correct, that would say we can carry up to 2,400 boxes, which is not what the words of the question said. So choice A would be our correct answer. Always reread their question, especially on word problems, to make sure your answer matches their question. And remember, the College Board is going to ask typically six questions on systems, including one where they ask you to write a system of equations or inequalities, but not actually solve it, just choose among the systems that they have written for you. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.